Pride is so vulnerable that it must not only be protected after its heart, but also protected from future harm. So people can have a system of avoiding the heart of pride. This is an automatic process and the person doesn't have to think about it or they may not even be aware of it. This affects the person's activities and also relationships. The person does not try any serious pursuits so that they don't risk failing to be a brilliant success. The person does not dare try to write or paint. He does not approach a girl in avoidance of rejection. The person will not dare travel or go to events in avoidance of awkward behavior. The person lives beneath their means and in the long run finds it necessary to withdraw away from others because they cannot face the fact of lagging behind and hates comparisons or questions about their work. In order to endure life, the person must spend more time in the fantasy world and may also use their neurosis as an alibi for lack of effort. Pride is not the only factor causing such behavior, but it is a major factor. Very often, avoidance is not everywhere, but in the situations where the person feels inhibited. The person may shun social life, although they work hard and are successful in their field. Or the person may be so successful in social situations and does not dare venture into any serious work. The person may be scared of getting emotionally involved with others out of fear of injuries to pride. In many examples, a person may be afraid of not being glamorously successful with the opposite sex. This fear can actually cause the person to dampen and crush their feelings of attraction to people and so they avoid everything. Protecting pride, safety and lack of effort. There are two major principles. One is safety by restricting one's life. It is safer to withdraw than to take the risk of exposing one's pride to injury. The second principle is, it is safer to not try than to try and fail. This gives a stamp of finality because the person does not get a chance of overcoming whatever difficulties they have. Although this will hurt the person in the long run, the person is only interested in the immediate danger of trial and error. If they don't try at all, then it does not reflect on them and they can always find an excuse of some sort. They can always think to themselves, I could have passed the exam if I studied more. I could have secured a better job or a wife if I had tried. If I applied myself to comedy, I would be better than Charlie Chaplin. I'm a computer and electrical engineer and this information is based on what I have read and believe is true in my experience. I'm not a professional psychologist, so if you're one and have thoughts on the video, please contact me or leave a comment in the video. Good luck in your life journey. Thank you. Thank you for watching. If you like this video, please like it and subscribe to the channel. And also check out my other videos. Have a good day.